Hi, here is Moon and I have GGP Extra in front of me. I will be picking this one that's quite special. It's VDS rated and it has some cool features like trap pin or check pin and a magnetic pin stack. I will go over them in a minute. I will start now with showing you the regular one, this one, just to explain how they work. Then on the interior side that comes from here, I will show the check pin and the magnetic one. Well, I have to pick it first to show it to you. It's not a big relevant feature, but it's really fun. So first, the GGP Extra has those typical GG serrated pins. They give quite special feedback and lots of clicks. They're very fun to pick. They're kind of tapered a little. Um, also, it has overmill chambers that add another couple of clicks to the whole thing. Uh, the VDS version, um, it, well, as I said, it's a more security rated one and it adds a check pin here. So the overmilling is still there. You can see it very well. Um, in the exterior there is some more drill protection, but picking relevant is this guy here. It's a check pin and it acts as a trap. So in the kind of normal position it doesn't do anything. But when you start turning the core and the key is not present, uh, or well, when it is present, it cannot be depressed. When the key is missing though, then the pin that goes against the chamber number five will push it in and it will catch quite hard. Um, specifically, when rotated counter, uh, well, clockwise, I mean, um, there is a sharp lip, but the pin can get out of the trap. Uh, counterclockwise though, it will get on this side and, and it catches really hard, so it, there is no forcing it. So the pin has to be picked. And picking it is kind of tricky because first it's hidden in the wording in this, this piece of it. Um, but there are two passive pins in front, so you cannot just slide till you find it. Uh, you need, and the flat tool will not work, you have to go over those pins. You need a pick. And you will also encounter problem with the bidding. So the check pin, um, yeah, that's the right side of the key. It interacts with this position and there is a key pin right next to it as well. So finding it, it's, well, uh, it's really a pain in the ass, but it's doable. It's not doable just by feel though, so I have the pick marked with the right position and I hope it works out. So yeah, now let's get it into the vise and pick it in hopefully a reasonable time. And yeah, before I pick it, here it actually, on the cylinder it says VDS-A and it also has this hole where the, there is extra pin that can go in so that the pulling the whole cylinder is also not possible. Anyways, let's do that. And I am tensioning counterclockwise from the start so that I get trapped by the check pin. Nice click and rotation on five. Four, and I'm using 0.4 millimeter pick because it just doesn't get caught on the wording that much. Even though the keyway is fairly open, it just makes this easier. Okay, now number one is binding. A 
Let me see if I can push it further. I just know that it needs to go one more click. If I don't do it right now, it just makes big <coughs> longer. I would just have to push it. It gets binding at some point. I have to push it down again and drops the rest of the stuff. No one wants to see that. And the magnetic pin that I mentioned, it's in the stack number five. The driver there is standard, but it got a magnet inside. So it sticks really hard to the, or some rotation and I think three. So the magnetic driver sticks to the key pin and I guess it's a bumping prevention measure. One is springy. Two seems to be springy too. Okay, click on five. Five is springy, four feels good as well, three, click, and another click, five still springy, is it? Yeah, I guess it is. Let me find four. Guess it's fine. One is springy, oh, two is way up. Okay, hope it stays there this time. weird. One spring, and two is still needing some attention. Spring now. Five is good. Four is fine. Three. Some core movement after the click. Five. Three and four seems to be okay. One is okay. Two and we are open. Now the tricky part starts. Let me just show you how it binds. So here clockwise, sometimes it gets uh, into the strap pin harder. So it really force needed, but I might have damage the core already <laughs> enough so that it goes out easily but counterclockwise no way so we'll need to pick it and it's kind of tricky i hope i can find the right position for the pick 
and not get it stuck like, like when I was filming it last time. Nope, not yet. Yeah. Now 360 degrees. Yay! All on camera, finally. Now let's get it out of the vise and show the magnetic pin and the fun guts that we have here. So first thing, let's get out. The... Let's remove the clip. Oops, it's very strong, but it will go away. Let's get the key. Still works. Um, and right from the start, let me show you the hardened steel insert into key pins. 3 and 4, steel pin 1, steel pin 5. interactive all right we don't need to remove that one okay key pins counter milling the The trap pin chamber, two passive pins and some extra drill protection that is not present in the other course. And now let's get the drivers. And yeah, the last one will not want to get out because it's magnetic. You see the spring stays on it and you see that I'm holding the spring and it holds the key pin and everything. <laughs> That's one of the most fun pins that I've seen. Does nothing to picking, but gets kind of... The magnet is fairly strong, so I think that should be quite efficient against bum bumping. Right, so here it goes and just drivers serrated and they also have steel inserts that one that one that one and yeah there just the springs nothing too special the grooves for the um, passive pins for the key control on the other side too i guess there could be two rows probably so, yeah, let me just show a close-up and then that's it. 
here we go. GGP extra VDS picked and got it with a trap pin. Thanks for watching. Bye.